Now this is a relatively short section to just show you some of the extra features that are built into Pathfinder. And we could probably do a couple of shows on Pathfinder to uh, cover all the details, but I really just wanted to let you know some of the additional tools and plugins that are available. For instance, if you go to the uh, Go menu, there's an option to launch applications built right into uh, Pathfinder. So in here, this gives you a panel with all your applications installed on your machine. Uh, you can just type the first few letters of the application. Let's say, for instance, Automator, A-U-T. There we go, there's Automator, hit return, and that would uh, fire off the application for you. Pathfinder has a fully featured text editor built right into the application so that if you want to uh, read or edit text files, you can do without leaving Pathfinder. Uh, in addition, it allows you to create new files. So if we go to File, uh, New File, and then select either New Text File or New HTML File, let's go with the uh, Text File first. You'll see we get this fully featured text editor that pops up, and we can create our documents uh, using that. Or if we go to File, New File, uh, New HTML, a slightly different version, uh, customized to uh, edit HTML, and also some standard HTML tags are placed within the body of the document as well. And that's the text editor built into Pathfinder. Uh, there are also several plugins. So if I go to commands, there's the option to create a disk image directly from Pathfinder. So if you just click create, you can see uh, you can create very easily a disk image. Let's just cancel that for now. Um, if I select a file, so for instance, this TIFF file, this image file, go to commands, I can edit image. So there's a built-in uh, image editor within Pathfinder. If we wanted to uh, compress the particular file, we've got options under commands to, well, to email the file directly, compress and email, compress using the default compression format, but also select the format as well. Now this is where the uh, stuff it compression engine comes in. So you have all these different options to, uh, to compress with a particular compression format.